Aloha Big Island and welcome to another edition of Get Game. I'm Eddie O and this month we're at the ninth annual Kukio Challenge to benefit Hui Laulima Oke Kahakai. I caught up with race director Paula Cassioliri who gave us all the scoops. We started this race to do fundraising for Hui Laulima Oke Kahakai. It's a group that takes care of um, the Kekahakai State Park System, so Kua Bay and Kekahakai. So we wanted to do something to contribute and help them improve the beach that we all use here. So 100% of the uh, athletes' entry fee goes to that hui. Kukio Golf and Beach Club, we put on this great event. We've got some wonderful sponsors that come in and bring some food for us. We had uh, over 100 athletes come in and do the event. Great uh, Sunday. Yes, beautiful. Paula, any mahalas you want to get out there? Um, to food sponsors, Daniel Thibault, Kenichi, Huggos, Grass Shack, Paradise Catering, Kona Brewing Company, Lava Java, and Kukio Golf and Beach Club. Nice, and tell everybody what the race entailed. This drooling, crueling event. <laughs> Half mile swim, three mile run, and then you had a choice. Half mile, uh, excuse me, two mile uh, prone paddleboard stand up or a four mile OC1. So it's the triathlon of the waterman. Paula, without you and the uh, volunteers, a race like this wouldn't uh, happen. So a big mahalo to you and all the volunteers. Yep, 100 athletes, 116 volunteers. What wow. a ratio. Beautiful. Paula, uh, we look forward to seeing the uh, 10th annual. You, you guys are already signed up. <laughs> Mahalo, Paula. Thank you. Hey, it was good fun, and I'm proud to say the Big Island Big Morning Show from Lava 105.3 took first place in the radio division, second place in the celebrity division, just behind Eric and his team from Huggos. For more information on the Kukio Challenge, log on to kukio.net, and we hope to see you next year. Hey, thanks for watching Get Game. I'm Eddie O. See you next time on Living in Paradise. Aloha. Hey, here we are at Waikia High School. Hey, this is a very important meeting. Hey, Big Island Association of Student Council, and we have the leaders here. You know, it's really amazing now. They have all of these various high schools all on this island getting together and doing projects together. And I have here Jessie. Uh, she's kind of in charge of this whole group here, her and, and Casey. So maybe Jessie, you can tell me what this is all about. Um, right now we are meeting for the Big Island Association of Student Councils. Right now we're working on our service project, so we're taking a whole bunch of toiletries and sending them off to different um, locations that need the toiletries, such as Salvation Armies, both here in Hilo and in Kona. And we're also talking about some of the problems that we have in our schools and trying to come up with solutions so to make our schools better. Wow, it's really awesome, you know, and, and every one of them have full-on participation, involvement. I mean, oh, this, this is really wonderful. It's a wonderful thing you guys are doing. And Casey, maybe you could kind of add to that? Yeah, we're just meeting here, just exchanging some ideas, talking about SOW, which is our student leadership workshop that's held at Manoa during July 15th to the 17th. So all you leaders, get involved and go to SLW. But you know, we encourage all students to get involved in student activities. What do you think, Jesse? I think any student has the ability to be a leader, and I think it's especially great to join something like the Hawaii State Student Council, which works on state issues, or the district councils. That way you can really be inspired by each other and get to know each other, and you have a sense of connection throughout the entire island in the state. Hey, from Casey and Jesse, stay involved. Yeah! We're from White Hill High School and we want to spread our warrior pride worldwide! Hi, my name is Cody. I'm Todd. Go Dragons! Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm Eldine. And I'm Jung. And we're from Koala High School. Cowboy Hi, this is Rachel, Lexi, Casey, Anu, Justin and Caitlin, and we're from Coronado High School. K O N A W A E N A. All right, shout out to the girls' basketball team for winning the BIF championship and making it all the way to states and getting second place. Let's go, go Hawkeyes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Tiari. And I'm Ruby. And I'm Makana, and we're from Pahoa High School. And we also have. I'm Andrew Parker from Kao High School. And we all want to say. Go Puna! What's up Living in Paradise? This is Hilo High School and we're going to do an energizer for you. We feel a breeze! Ooh, it's in our knees! Ooh, it's in our hips! Ooh, it's in our lips! Bang, bang, choo-choo train! Come on Vikings, do your thing! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Got it, got it, got it, got it! Poop! And let it roll! Poop! And let it roll! Go, 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 go. Hey, we got
got the advisor here from Powa High School. So uh, what do you think about the Big Island Student Council? Well, the Big Island Student Council is a really nice organization that has all of the students from around the Big Island come together, the student officers. It gives the students a voice, and so they get to work on different situations that they feel is important to their schools. Then what happens is um, their officers take it back to the state level, and it gets addressed at the state level. So, yeah, it's very beneficial to the schools. I just want to say one thing, you know, I want to thank you folks, you know, the advice. I know you guys spend so much time outside of the classroom on weekends and everything else and try to really make a difference. So um, thank you very much. Thank you all the advisors there. You guys do an awesome job. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. So Lexi, Lexi, what are you doing? Looking for something that my mom can cook easily. Oh, I got him. It's Ajinomoto. What's wrong with your toe, Uncle Derek? No, it's Ajinomoto. You don't have any toes? I don't have any toes. No, I mean, Ajinomoto. You see, this your mom can cook. It's only going to take in minutes, just microwave. And you know what? Your mom can do this. I know, because she knows how to use the microwave. And what you got there? Shema and gyoza. Oh, fantastic. We get goza, man. After your mom cook all this, eh? we have places where we can lie and sleep. What do you think? Uncle Turk is gyoza. Not Goza. Oh, okay. And it's Ajinomoto, not my big toe. Okay, we got him. So, Lexi, we have to come on down to KTA and buy your Ajinomoto products. Yeah. And after you get the Goza, you can sleep. I think your toes are infecting your brain. Ah, they must look alike. Hey, I'm here at one of the most impressive academies I've ever been to. Hey, Construction Academy at Konawana High School. We have two of the seniors here, Conrad and Len. Hey, so Conrad, Conrad, I understand that you guys com competed and, and you came in second and third. What was this all about? Um, it was a hand tools competition held at uh, the community college in Hilo. And we just sold basic skills like safety and um, how to cut wood with hand tools and building, basic building, like, techniques. Fantastic. So, hey, Lan, Lan, what, what do you guys learn in the uh, Construction Academy? I noticed you guys build this beautiful uh, house out there, yeah? What do you guys learn from there? Our biggest thing in Construction Academy is safety, and we have a lot of math involved to do with angles and measurements and stuff like that. Oh, fantastic. So, um, I got a question for you. So, you know, you graduated, so, well, are you going to go in, in, in the construction field or? Uh, no, I'm going to be a police officer. Oh, he's going to be a police officer. Awesome. But, you know, how would this benefit you in the future? Uh, I could build my own house, I guess. Yeah. You see? You know what? Whatever you're going to do, I mean, this is going to help you in the future. And you, Conrad, what do you plan to do? Um, I either plan to be a cop or a, um, something with music, something like audio tech or something. Something different. Oh, fantastic. And, and, and uh, what, what, you know, what you learn here, how are you going to apply it to you in the future? Um, this taught me a lot of discipline and how to, like, complete projects. So just how to, like, commit all the way and just, yeah, that would help, I guess. Hey, come on. Let's give everybody a shaka. Wow, Construction Academy. Awesome. Well, Derek, he's uh, talking of saying thank you for spending time up here with the kids. Wow, that's awesome, man. Mr. Kenta, so what, they, they made all this? Yeah, they made this project uh, on the last semester, yeah, of this year. Hey, you know what? You know, everyone out there, I encourage you guys to take up, uh, you know, the Construction Academy, Arts and all that, and they make all kinds of stuff. And as, as um, you all know that, you know, this is something that they'll be able to use in the future, right? Regardless of whatever they're going to be, they know how to build stuff, they'll be able to use it. Right, Mr. Kent? That's right. Knowledge takes them, takes them a long way, yeah. Awesome guy. Thank you very much. Thank you.